Hey, what's going on, guys? Back at tabletop number two. Uh, a lot of you guys have been asking, or at least maybe it's just one of you guys, but you've asked multiple times for like an EDC video of like how I actually have it set up on my person. Um, due to the fact that I'm just an amateur YouTuber and I would rather buy guns gear and ammo and cool stuff, you know, than high dollar expensive fancy tripods and different stuff. Um, my tripod's kind of jerry-rigged and ghetto-rigged, and I couldn't get a good setup, you know, for the video that I know I would be in frame, and this to show you it actually on my person, uh, but this is exactly, I literally just took my pants off, um, <laughs> this is, this is how it would be, uh, this is exactly how I carry it, uh, you know, obviously if I'm carrying a different gun, it's different, um, but for the most part, this is literally, you know, how I have my EDC set up on my pants, you know, this is how I walk around, um, so we'll go through it first, um, on my ankle, my left ankle, the Lynx Defense Ankle Medical Kit, extremely useful, made in the U.S., high quality piece of kit, carries all my medical stuff in it, I have a video that should have came out or will be coming out after this video, I don't know, um, of all the contents in this, so I'm not going to waste too, too much time on it. Um, but we'll give you a little look-see, you know, definitely got some medical, some tourniquets, some uh, chest decompression needles, some gauze, some gloves, a spare mag for the Glock, Glock 17. So there's that. Um, this, my little uh, Shankaho neck knife configuration, paracord lanyard. This is my little ventilator. This runs on the neck, you know, so under the t-shirt, around the neck. So I have that. And uh, then here it is. Here's the front. Everything is supported perfectly by this special operations equipment EDC low profile belt with the G hook. Um, worn this belt for years. You can tell it's all messed up and dirty and whatever. And the G hook's rusting out. Um, not rusting out, but rusting. And uh, still works perfectly. Still works just like the day that I got it. So, you know, there's something to be said about that. On the front support side. So. You know, appendix, but a little bit more over my left front pocket. I'm running the K-Bar TDI in the NSR tactical sheath. Oh, bump the tripod. Serrated. This is one of my defensive blades, my fighting blades. Um, super, super inexpensive for what it is. And it's an extremely, extremely good fighting knife. Uh, left pocket, pen, metal pen, nice writing pen, do a lot of paperwork. I've got my Streamlight TLR1, or TLR1, what I'm talking, Streamlight um, Stylus. I don't know where I got that's a weapons light. Uh, Streamlight Stylus Pro. This is my EDC light. My, you know, I lost my keys, got to find them under the car. This is my, oh, it's dark outside, got to see where I'm walking. This, you know, just an EDC light with uh, the shot cord little mod on there so I can do stuff while I'm doing stuff. And so that's hanging clipped to my front left pocket. On the inside of the front left pocket, I have my keys. Nothing's changed on the keys. Still running the Victorinox Classic SD, little mini Swiss Army knife. I did lose my tweezers, unfortunate. I don't know where they went. But it's got a blade, a file, little screwdriver, scissors, real useful stuff. I have my backup gun right here. This is my backup gun. It's another Glock 17. This one's a Gen 5. Um... Rescue Me, really important, really easy, really cheap uh, to have. And it's got the glass breaker, it's got the seatbelt cutter. Obviously, you know, you get in a wreck, that could prove useful. The Olight i3 EOS or whatever it is, the copper one, very nicely patinaed. That's a backup light. It's actually brighter than the stylus, which is funny. Um, and then just a super unlucky white Bic lighter. And then the ubiquitous chapstick. You know, extra ubiquitous right there. So, that's the front left pocket. Front right pocket in the coin pocket here. Running my Gerber dime. That's where I keep that little guy. Really nice, inexpensive multi-tool that is way more capable than you would think, you know, for getting a job done. It's got a bunch of stuff on there. Scissors, blade, package opener, tweezers. Got a little lanyard on there. Most important feature right there when you got to crack cold ones. So that runs in my little change pocket right there. Uh, the little pocket knife that I'm carrying, I guess it's not that little. 
Um, but since uh, Bitch Made Knives is cutting up guns, I will no longer carry or buy or own their knives. So until I pick, and you know, until I pick up a, a Spider Co. or a Southern Grind or something, you know, uh, to beat on, I'm carrying this. I used to carry this a while ago. Uh, it's roughed up. It's been used. Still sharp. This is the Kershaw Launch Six. It's an auto knife. Uh, the pocket clip is stripped and not the best because it. I could probably lose this thing. But it's got a decent action. It's an auto. It's big enough to fight with. It stays sharp. You know, it's, I'm not really worried about it. And then my phone, which I'm using to record, would also usually be in that pocket. Gun I'm carrying. Glock 17 Gen 4. Get it out of there. Glock 17 Gen 4. XS Big Dot Sights. I really, really am a fan of the XS Big Dot Sights. They pick up super quick and easy. I mean, that thing's just a golf ball. You plant that on the dude's chest and you let it rip. And, uh, you know, for combat effectiveness, self-defense, up close, personal, and even at distance, because contrary to popular belief, you can be more than accurate with these sights. I've proven it to myself. I was a little hesitant at first. Um, running standard pressure. 115 grain hollow points in there um, just for real quick follow-up shots and, and maybe better accuracy at distance plus I mean it's I wouldn't let you shoot me with a BB gun let alone a standard pressure nine millimeter so I mean plus P whatever I don't care that's running in an inside or outside the waistband uh, you can configure it how you want I was running this outside the waistband then I configured it to run inside the waistband and that's the watchdog tactical uh, holster I believe it is the guardian I want to say it's the or the no it's the guard dog it's the guard dog um, makes sense watchdog tactical that's the guard dog it's inside or outside excellent holster great snug fit perfect retention everything's adjustable and uh, that carries a full-size pistol extremely well. Perfect ride height for me. I like the gun to ride a little bit higher so I can get a nice full firing grip out of the holster. Conceals perfectly. On my back right pocket here, I have my Bastinelli Picor. So again, this is another defensive blade option. Um, it's got like an ulti clip kind of deal going on there. So you just put it on the pocket and snap it down and it does not move. And uh, it's kind of like half of a scissor kind of thing. It's a little stabby, pokey, get off me, go away, leave me alone type of deal. And uh, it's extremely sharp, and it's it's quality made. And the sheath is really nice, and it's lightweight and easy. And I can just have this. I could have the retention. I could do cool Doug Markaita stuff. I could do a lot of stuff. I'm pretty impressed I just got away with that on video and didn't cut myself. <laughs> but, you know, that that's two is one, one is none, three is even better. And uh, so I carry a couple fixed blades, obviously between the K-bar, this, the little stabby pokey thing I hang around my neck. You know, knives don't ever run out of bullets, right? So that's something beneficial to have. Um, other than that, this pocket is empty. If most of the time, um, if I'm carrying the full-size gun, which I, I have been lately and probably will continue to do so, uh, I will also have my snub nose appendix in the Harry's holster icon. I don't have it on me at the moment for this video. I should have brought it a little bit more eye candy, but that would run right about right here, appendix in the Harry's holster icon, like I said, uh, multicam black gang. But yeah, so, and then I would keep a couple spare HKS 36A speed loaders just loose in the pocket back here as a reload to the snub nose. And then we're going around, going around. Got a nice look at my butt there. It's a good look at the butt. Um, on the support side, I've got a Watchdog Tactical mag pouch, you know, that keeps a spare mag in there. I got a little tighter retention, but not too, too tight, you know, so you, it'll hold on to it in case I fall or I'm doing ninja backflips or whatever it is. Um, but it's not, I'm not going to lose it, but I can still retain it. Wallet, SOE wallet, not going to open it up and show you all the goodies in there, but I got my cool SOE patch on there, big Star Wars fan, and uh, this one is Cryptek Typhon with red thread contrasting, very, very nice wallet, high quality stuff. I also keep a right in the rain notebook, I'm not going to open it and reveal all my secrets, but that's pretty useful. Um, you know, little measuring device on the back, little ruler, and, and just useful to have, you got to jot something down. 
get a girl's number. You know, that happens to me all the time. That's honestly what most of this is filled up with is, is hot chicks' numbers. So, <laughs> um, my defensive life light, I showed you a couple of my regular EDC lights. Um, my defensive light is a Surefire Tactician. I got the lanyard on there. I don't know exactly how I feel about this. I want to swap it out for some shot cord um, in the very least bit or just run it without it. But this is an 800 lumen, momentary, super bright, in your face, you know, go away, temporarily blind somebody, do what you got to do, defensive, fighting light, extremely strong pocket clip, best lights in the game in my opinion is Surefire. Um, I got a video on this. It should be out now uh, when you're watching this or it will be coming out shortly. But it, it's an excellent light. Uh, it's slightly crenulated on the bezel, so you can smack people in the face if you need to and uh, do what you got to do. You know, it, it is a defensive tool. And the thing that's cool about flashlights is they're not really regulated like a knife or a gun would be. So you could take this into a place that doesn't allow you to legally carry self-defense tools and still have a self-defense tool. Surefire, though, name of the game for flashlights, the best out there in my opinion. And uh, what else do I got? That's it, guys. That's it. So, you know, guns, sometimes two guns, bunch of knives, uh, medical equipment, some old worn jeans, you know, just pretty typical, some kind of gun guy shirt, SOE belt, holding it all together. I wish it would hold my life together because it's always falling apart. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, guys. Or am I? <laughs> but no. Um, so hopefully that gives you guys a little bit better idea as of like how I actually carry this stuff. I get people on here all the time that are like, oh, there's no way you carry that stuff. It's impossible. You can't feasibly carry all that stuff on your person. But I mean, this is just a simple regular pair of jeans. And I've got all this stuff with me. Imagine if I had like some Katanicas or even just 5.11s with like a multitude more of pockets. I could shove so much stuff in there, I probably wouldn't even be able to move. Um, but with just a set, a set of jeans and a solid belt, you can carry everything that you need on a regular day basis and then some. And uh, I highly advise it. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys liked it. Let me know if you guys carry any of the same stuff. You got experience with any of this stuff. Um, you know, let me know what you carry and, and be honest about it. Like legitimately, if you see me walking down the street and you gear check me like nothing fancy, I will have all of this stuff with me, if not more, or at least different stuff. I might have a different knife or a different gun or, or whatever, but it's going to be, I'm going to be as prepared as I'm showing you. Uh, this isn't fake. I, I do this because I do this. This is not just for a video. Um, you know, I, I'd rather be helpful in a situation than uh, possibly hurting myself or others. So by not being prepared, I might add. So that's the video, guys. Uh, check the links in the description box below. There's links to Watchdog. There's links to Harry's Holster. There's links to Link's Defense. Um, all types of good stuff down there. Follow me on all my social media platforms. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, we'll scream on you later, guys. Have a good one.